Nashitelet, all my Dharma friends um, who are joining us on the live stream for the retreat from all over the world. I'm offering you some milk tea from this begging bowl of the Buddha Amahong. Welcome to our last day of our Guru Rinpoche retreat. We'll begin with opening prayers in the Yellow Prayer Book on page one. Other sentient beings, limitless as space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be free from suffering, and swiftly may they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete enlightenment. All mother sentient beings, limitless as space, especially those enemies who hate me, obstructors who harm me, and those who create obstacles on my path to liberation and omniscience. May they experience happiness, be free from suffering, and swiftly may they attain precious, unsurpassed, perfectly complete enlightenment. <laughs> For that purpose, until I attain Buddhahood, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. Until death, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. From today until this time tomorrow, I will apply my body, speech, and mind to virtue. I take refuge in the Buddhas until I attain the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to Bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise to Bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the Bodhisattva's path. I take refuge in the Buddhas until I attain the essence of awakening. Likewise, I take refuge in the Dharma and in the assembly of the Bodhisattvas. Just as the Buddhas of the past gave rise to Bodhicitta and progressed along the Bodhisattva's path, so shall I give rise <clears throat> to Bodhicitta for the benefit of all beings and practice the stages of the Bodhisattva's path. <laughs> Until 
until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. Until awakening, I take refuge in the Buddha, Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By the merit of generosity and other good deeds, may I attain <clears throat> Buddhahood for the benefit of all beings. My May all mother sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. May all mother sentient beings, limitless as space, have happiness and the causes of happiness. May they be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May they not be separated from the happiness that is free from sorrow. May they rest in equanimity, free from attachment and aversion. Go to the Guru Rinpoche Sadhana on page one. Protector of the blissful land, Amitabha, Buddha of infinite light, Avalokiteshvara, venerated Padmasambhava, noble lady Yeshi Sogyo, princess Pema Sal, great Tertan, Padma Lingpa, Siddha Sefel Zang, Gyalwang Namchak, Chogyal Punsog, Choki Dragpa, and Penchen Lundrum, Trinle Zagpo, Dunkon Drupepal, Tenzin Drudu, Lotro Chogi Gyal, Choki Nima, Pema Gyamsen, Choki Gyamsen, 
Maha Manju, Tenpe Degyan, and Chonyi Chor Norbu, Root Guru, Father, and your sons, I beseech you from the bottom of my heart. Please dispel adversity and obstacles. Please bestow your blessings to attain common and supreme accomplishments. Having realized all wishes that accord with Dharma unobstructedly, may I seize the royal seat of the Dharmakaya, the <coughs> final truth, and enter the sublime pure land great bliss without reliving a samsaric birth. <laughs> Namo to the Guru who embodies all those gone to bliss, and whose nature is the triple gem. I and all beings of the six realms take refuge until we reach awakening. <laughs> Having given rise to Bodhicitta and accomplished the Guru for the sake of all beings, I vow to free the six realms by acts that tame all beings according to their needs. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Guru and assembly of Yidam deities, please come here and be seated on this throne of lotus, sun, and moon. I sincerely pay homage with my body, speech, and mind, and I make outer, inner, and secret offerings. I openly confess all impaired and broken vows, evil deeds, and obscurations. I rejoice in the accomplishment of secret mantra. Please turn the secret mantra dharma wheel that matures and liberates. I pray do not pass into nirvana, but continue to remain for the benefit of others. I dedicate the heart essence for the sake of sentient beings. May they realize the true meaning of Vajra. From emptiness arises Om, from which appears jeweled vessel, broad and vast. Within it, Om, Ah, and Hong merge into the pure and unimpeded Torma that produces extraordinary flawless bliss and that fills the boundaries of space. Om, Ah, Hong, Om, Ah, Hong, Om, Homage to the Tathagata, many jewels. Homage to the Tathagata, sublime form. Homage to the Tathagata, limitless body. Homage to the Tathagata, beyond all fear.
it to obstruct accomplishments inside the Three Roots mandala, accept this Torma offering and leave, going someplace else. Om Zhambana Zhambana Ho Ho Mbama Om Gahana Gahana Ho Ho Mbama Om Gahana Baya Gahana Baya Ho Ho Mbama Om Anaya Ho Banga Baya Ho Ho Mbama is primordial innate wrath, the space pervading gods of wrath and the hindrance taming wrathful goddesses have set the boundaries that no one may transcend. Om Vajra Krodha Raksha Brahm Hum.
Hong, emanating myriad forms from inside the Dharmadhatu basic space, Lama, Yidam, Dakini, and the oceanic host of oath-bound ones, please remember your heart pledge and send down great resplendence. Om <laughs> Page 12. Hong Hong, 
In the condition where phenomena are empty and without a reference point, I cultivate compassion, love, and kindness for all sentient beings. From the causal hri arise ram, yam, bam, lam, and sum, which respectively turn into space, wind, fire, water, and earth, and Mount Meru composed of precious substances. At its center is a multicolored lotus, at the heart of which is a crossed vajra, with a brum at its hub, transforming into a boundless jeweled palace, replete with perfect qualities and dazzling light. In the protection sphere surrounding it, upon a multicolored lotus and the sun and moon, is a hri, the expression of my own awareness, which transforms into the lotus born, white with a tinge of red, and with the youthful radiance of a child. My right hand holds a vajra at the heart, while my left hand holds a skull cup filled with the nectar placed in equipoise below my navel. My crown is adorned with a lotus hat, a vulture's feather, strips of silk, and a mirror emanating rays of light. I am garbed in a brocade cloak, red silken dharma robes, and a blue gown. My ears, hands, feet, neck, and waist are all adorned with golden jewels. Sitting gracefully in vajra pose, a katvanga staff is resting on my left shoulder. Surrounding me are Guru Totring Tsal's four classes, Guru Rinpoche's eight manifestations, Dakas, Dakinis, warrior kings, Dharma protectors, and a host of Hari ones, all of whom are gathering like rain clouds in the sky. From the body, speech, and mind of these envisioned deities, light streams forth to invite the Guru and three roots from the su- southwestern Yak Tail Isle, who then appear and merge with me. <laughs>
In the northwest land of Uriana, born in a lotus pollen heart, is the one renowned as Lotus Born, who found wondrous and supreme accomplishment and is surrounded by a host of Dakas and Dakinis. Emulating you, I will devote myself to practice. Please come here and grant your blessings. Please remain on this delightful seat at the center of this splendid, boundless palace, emanating bodies, as many as there are atoms in the universe. I pay homage with devoted body, speech, and mind. <laughs> Hong, I offer water for drinking, water for bathing the feet, flowers, incense, lamplight, fragrances, food, and music, such as drums and the conch shells. I offer Supreme Amrita, composed of the eight main components, and a thousand branches, Rakta formed of causes and conditions, and an embellished Torma. The Yabyum union is supreme delight, the final truth, a state of innate empty bliss. Please accept this wonderful offering. <laughs> Mm-hmm. 
Om, homage and praise to the Guru's form, appearing yet void, void yet appearing. Ah, homage and praise to the Guru's speech, heard yet void, void yet heard. Hong, homage and praise to the Guru's mind, void yet clear, clear yet void. Praise to you who are endowed with boundless qualities and tame beings with enlightened deeds. Appearance is the Guru's form, primordially present, ah, la, la. All sound is the Guru's speech, inseparably united wind and mantra, the primordial nada melody. All thoughts are the Guru's mind, originally pure, in the primordial dharmakaya. The sound of mantra echoes naturally across the cosmo of a billion worlds. By sending it out, it fulfills the needs of sentient beings and when it gathers back, it merges with the space of the primordial mother. Until clarity is achieved, I will visualize and meditate. Until this practice is accomplished, I will not abandon it. Amen. Ah. Uh... 
Oh, 
Oh. 
Oh, <laughs> 
to recite mantra. We will see you back here in 25 minutes. Oh, man. 